Hi, life path number five, my freedom seeker, freedom lovers. Are you guys love freedom so much? You're not afraid of taking risks and you guys are bold. But remember, sometimes your boldness can come across as offensive to people. All right. Um, like, you know, <laughs> I know your life path number is a very restless life path number. Um, you guys don't like to stay in one place for too long. Um, you love to change your environment. You love to change things around. Um, you're quite fearless. You can be very adventurous. And um, that's just a second nature to you. And if you don't get what you want, you know, you will be the biggest drama queen. Um, <laughs> and, you know, so because you like to win all the time. If you don't win, it might become a problem for people around you because, you know, you're taking that risk and you're thinking, oh, you know, because I'm bold, I can, I'm fearless, I can take this risk, I'm meant to win. Um, yeah, we're meant to win, but um, so remember when you take a risk, it can be either or, all right? It can be either or. Life path number five. And I'm sure you know that already. I'm just explaining what Spirit wants me to tell you. But you do have the 10 of Raphael. It says, love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members. Happy ever after. Guys, welcome to your monthly reading. If you're a new um, viewer, please remember to subscribe. Like this channel. Please subscribe, subscribe. Share your energy with me. Uh, pour back into my cup as I pour back into your cup every month. Um, by you know doing these readings and picking up on your energy, energy for the um, collective um, consciousness that I, I kind of deliver right back to you guys every month. And if you do need a personal reading, my information is in the description box below the video. Remember to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones. Help me build this channel. Let's get to a thousand subscribers, guys, so that. You know, we can open up the light feed. I have to pick up a couple cards that fell. And and then we can continue right with your reading. All right. Life path number five. There's something here telling you playfulness. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You can be very serious sometimes. But Spirit is telling you, open up yourself more. And I'm seeing like a rose petal, like just unfolding. Open up your heart. Some of you need to work on your heart chakra to open up your heart. I don't know. You can Google how to um, open blocked heart chakra, all right? So some of you need to work on your heart chakra so that you can welcome the spirit of love that is in your energy, all right? This reading is for the month of March, even though um, I always say they are timeless readings. Um, but here it's saying express your love. You know, I, I love it when these um, cards can, you know, <laughs> when they, you know, they align with what I'm saying. You need playfulness in your life and you need the ability to be able to express your love. He says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Some of you are needing to open your heart to somebody all right and offer some kind of romance that comes from the heart you know something that can lead to the ten of cups so this is the happy marriage happy family life it says love and blessings to fill your life all right harmonious relationship some of you are needing to open up your heart express your love be playful in order to usher in harmonious relationships with your family members um and have your happily ever after okay but aside from that there's something here about unrequited love. So if you have a blocked heart, of course the situation is in balance. There's definitely you coming across as unrequited love. Either giving somebody love that is not being returned or you, you know, not giving the love that you're, being, you're getting or receiving. But it says, it says here, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep your relationship going. So if you're not, if your heart chakra is blocked, of course... It will look, you know, you won't have the love that you deserve that can lead you to your Ten of Cups, all right? Um, so needing to unblock your heart chakra, I feel, will be very, very, very important for you uh, in this month. And, you know, there's the World Card, which tells me there's a cycle, you know, that has just, that has ended or will be ending in your life or in your environment. Something that, um, 
and this is Archangel Michael. Help bring to a close. Help close. Close out. And this is a number 21, which is equal to a 3. And 3 is all about self-expression. Sensitivity. Okay? It's also about communication. So, there is so, some of you are needing to express your love, communicate love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You know, express your love. But here it says, a very happy ending. Coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. The situation that you have been able to now grow from because you have learned your lessons. Now it's time for you to completely heal yourself because spirit is acknowledging here it's a happy ending. Consider it a happy ending in the sense that now you get an opportunity to open your heart because whatever ending this is, you came full circle. It may have been a very painful ending. This is a two of Michael, which is a two of swords and talks about, he says it will all be better if you just make a decision. This is all about indecisiveness or being, you know, up in, the, in your head or juggling or, you know, not clear about the decisions that you're making. And, you know, that cycle closing out for you because now it looks like, you know, it's ended, it's come full circle. There's lessons that have been learned that you now need to digest. And, you know, you making a decision and stop overanalyzing a problem and find a compromise. You know, you like your freedom, you like your, um, you like to take risk. Do you consider other people when you do that? You're meant to compromise also because, you know, like it looks like this might be a relationship reading, but there's also ties to the finance and career that it says financial issues are a factor that may be affecting your love life right now. All right. So for some of you, unrequited love, financial problems in your relationship, you open, being able to open your heart chakra. Um, here is the six of Ariel and six is all about balance. It's all about taking responsibility for your actions. It's all about being able to show a caring side of yourself. Six is a number, number of love. Okay. So being able to be playful, express your, um, love, be able to usher the 10 of cups into your life, um, and be able to, um, you know, end a cycle with unrequited love in your life so that, Whatever issues in your financial and career life can also come into balance. If not, it's going to continue to be a problem in your um, relationships, okay? So the sixth of area says material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. I'm still picking up the energy of giving and receiving in a love situation or in a job situation or in whatever situation for you guys. Something that is not an equal give and take that needs to be balanced i keep getting that word balanced all right so wow something that is unclear a cycle this is like um cl the clouds and this is a six did you guys see how that the three cards came out i didn't even need to <laughs> shuffle so this is a six and i think we have two sixes now you know, I already told you it's all about balance and i kept getting that strongly about you being able to balance whatever this is in your life of course, you have the two and you have the three. All right? You have the two and the three. Two of, of swords and then the three, which is the world card. All right? So you have two sixes. You can also go put in six, six angel number on Google and see what messages you came, you come up with. But you do have 11. All right? So you might, I mean, this might be something that has been repeating itself, a pattern in your life with the whip. This is the whip's energy. All right. And it, it looks like maybe a cycle that we keep repeating. This cycle also looks like it just ended another repetition. Now you do have a new beginning, um, spiritual growth and insight from whatever this cycle was that kept repeating itself in your life. Um, but it looks like some of you are looking for some kind of stability in your life with the anchor energy anchor and this is a, a 35 which is a, a equal to an eight eight is a number of material satisfaction i do see in you know get the you know the vibes that you know your energy telling me there is a tie between your love life and your finances so you not being able to get your ten of cups will also affect your finances there is a tie that your finances has to you being able to you know re-establish some kind of love express some kind of love in a situation all right okay but some of you are looking for an anchor 
You're meant to lay your anchor. Your, I mean, I know you love freedom, you love to move around, but remember, even the ship that goes from one harbor to another, one port to another, will need the anchor to secure itself. You all got, need some kind of security in your life, something that can, you know, keep you grounded, keep your feet down, planting a root is what Spirit is telling me. You guys need to plant a root. It's time to plant a root in your life, all right? In case you haven't planted and your desire is to usher in this happiness, abundance in your life, something needs to take root in your life, life path number five. I'm sure you know what this is. I don't, you know, but I'd love to pull the after tarot for you guys to see for life path number five. Is there any other message that we need to get for them to help? them understand whatever this situation is better yeah there's an ending to something that has caused some kind of heavy burden stress you're laying it down finally lessons have been learned it's a happy ending and you've come full circle you've now grown spiritually and you have received all the divine insights and guidance that you need to be able to move forward with regards to whatever this cycle is or was that has been repeating itself in your life that has been holding down or holding back your finances and some of you have you know found yourself in codependent situations where it's also affecting your finances for those of you who this is all about love for all right it doesn't have to be about love it could be about anything for um for you guys all right life path number five i hope this makes sense for you um i hope you'll be able to open or unblock or do whatever you can to unblock your heart chakra so you can propel in this um, ten of cups, but whatever this is, you it's obvious. This is a ten, and this this is the end of the world, all right. But definitely, you have a ten here. Um, one, one plus zero is equal to one, which means you have a new beginning. You have this cycle that has ended, and you come in full circle and now spiritually growing from that, or you've grown from that, and you do have the insights you need to close this out completely and just understand whatever this is was meant to happen in order for you to um, understand the need for having love that is a, a balanced love in your energy and be playful and be able to express yourself, open your heart. You can't, be, you can't block your heart and expect love to come in, all right? But whatever this is, Repetition of, you know, the same cycles is not going to grow you in any way. And I'm hearing also you needing to grow yourself spiritually. You needing to always continue to lock into your intuition, into your higher self. Connect with Archangel Michael. Call on Archangel Michael to continue to, you know, help you with your situation. To continue to provide you with the guidance that you need to help propel you on your life path. And be able to achieve this 10 of cups, alright? This happy family life. All right with the person that you love with kids and you know the couple drinking happy with the rainbow and the spirit guiding the whole thing all right life part number five thank you guys so much this is healing hands um in case you don't know how to calculate your life path number, information will be in the description box below the video. If you want to book your private reading, also my email is there. If you would like to donate or give a gift uh, offering, if you feel like these readings are resonating um, and you want to donate, um, um, I would be more than grateful um, as I don't have any job right now. You know, okay. So let's move on. Thank you guys. Until next time, this is Healing Hands. Bye bye bye. -bye.